I've been through a lot of storms, and I've faced a lot of storms. The day after this storm, on the 29th, when I came down to the beach, I cried. Well, the first day after I got done crying, I said, well, we got to get out and start helping people. So, I mean, the devastation was unbelievable. It was very surreal. It was almost incomprehensible. Any of the hurricanes never did any kind of damage like this. Never. I can't say enough for the first responders. Um, this town has 6,600 people in it. We didn't lose one. No one got hurt. No one's missing. Nobody died. And I contribute that to our first responders. They made a valiant effort to get these people out of their homes, even in the worst conditions. The mayor and the council, in conjunction with FEMA and with other organizations, the numerous organizations that came out uh, and, and helped us out. And they're innumerable. You can't even mention how many people and how many different organizations reached out to the beach and I'm forever indebted to them because this is my town and I love these people. Volunteers, uh, you name it, neighbors helping neighbors. It, that's, that's the name of the game. It's coming. People are starting to smile again. People are starting to hug again. People are starting to talk again. And it's going to, and it's going to take us time, but uh, I, I, I'm I'm very hopeful and positive that it, that it will happen. Just uh, the people in this state and in this town, they're not going to be forced out. It's about people, and uh, I think that that's what Jersey Strong is about. Absolutely, Jersey Strong.